Hey YouTube, my name is Scott Brio. I'm a electronic musician from San Francisco, California. And I wanted to give you guys just a little bit of a, a background uh, on me, just because the majority of my channel is electronic music stuff, you know, songs I've made, tutorials, podcasts. I've got a great uh, electronic music podcast called the Voice of Electronic Music Podcast, which is all about mixing and mastering and DJing and all that stuff. So definitely check that out if you get a chance. This video is gonna be on uh, car audio. So I got this 2015 WRX and um, one of the speakers was blown. And of course the stock system is not fantastic. And I think that this one is a lot better than most stock systems, uh, not most, most Subarus in the past, especially like the 2004 Impreza that I had, it was just, it was terrible. It was really bad. The, the stock one in this car was passable it was okay but with the blown speaker you know i was really kind of sol so uh you know i went on the market for uh, speakers and of course you know being that we've got tweeters on the dash and six and a halfs in all the doors i wanted to do components up front and six and a half coaxials in the back you know, I started doing the research and I, I landed on uh, some Alpines. I wanted to go with Alpine. I was a little concerned because, you know, I've been reading all this stuff about how the stock head unit isn't going to be able to power, especially components and, you know, just kind of aftermarket speakers in general. And I was a little nervous, but I said, you know what? Screw it. Let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? So I got the speakers. Put them all in, did the install. It was it was uh, rather painless. You know, I, beforehand I was thinking two things are going to happen. It's going to sound way worse because the head unit isn't going to be able to power it. Maybe it'll be quieter. Maybe it'll be you know it'll distort more. That sort of thing, especially at higher volumes. Or it will sound fine. Maybe even better. You know, better than stock. So I figured, you know, I'm going to be doing an aftermarket head unit and amplifiers and a subwoofer and all that down the line. I just didn't want to do it right now. I wanted to make this video too because there was nothing that I had seen on YouTube or anywhere for that matter that showcased how a stock head unit works with aftermarket components. Now, these are not like, you know, top of the line. I'd say they're maybe one step up from bottom of the line Alpines. Um, from a sound engineer perspective, I tend to think that there's kind of this sweet spot of, you know, a threshold of point of diminishing returns, meaning that I'm already getting Alpine speakers. They're going into a car, you know, they're Alpines. Does it matter if they're type S's and not type R's? You know, to me, I'm kind of a big picture kind of guy. And my last system on my 2004 Subaru wagon was literally comprised of 12 different brands. And I had speakers, all the parts were gotten off of Craigslist for cheap or free. So I ran two amplifiers and we're talking no name knockoff amplifiers, a Kenwood sub, a Pioneer head unit, one set of Alpine door speakers. The other ones were, uh, I think they were Pioneer or something, Kenwood. Uh, it all sounded great, you know, and I, I really do think that if you know what you're doing and you can tune your sound system correctly and get the gain staging right and get the filters, high pass filters, low pass filters, you know, I don't think the components really matter as much as people make it out to be. I mean, sure, if you want to do competitions and stuff or you're really, really super anal on, on everything being perfect, then sure, you want to spring for the high end stuff. But uh, I think uh, otherwise, you know, even just getting aftermarket stuff in general is going to be a huge improvement. So what I wanted to do here is I wanted to just showcase how this works with the Alpine components and coaxials with the stock head unit. I literally just wired them into this, this, the factory plugs um, so there's no amplification or anything additional. And that way you can kind of get a, a sense for, you know, is this going to sound good? And I will say that I was, I was surprised. I was pleasantly surprised. The Alpines are much clearer better bass response, better stereo imaging. You know, uh, I, I'm not really hearing too much distortion uh, when I really crank it. I think too that this stereo is, I believe, made by Clarion. So that leads me to believe that it's going to be somewhat decent. It's not going to be terrible. And I think it was right, you know? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play uh, a song of mine just to avoid uh, copyright reasons. Um, it's a, a bootleg, so maybe not completely copyright free, but it's a bootleg of Jon Stewart, The Price of Fire. It's a deep house track. So anyway, just I want to play it for you guys so you can hear for yourselves uh, that it sounds pretty normal. So get the car turned on here. Sorry, not just normal, but better. And uh, this is on YouTube if you guys like it. If you want to check it out, the, the song will be linked in the description below. So let's play it here as soon as my phone connects. Give it a second. There we go. 
and we're on we're on 30 volume, you know. So we've got. You look up here. We've got some some room to go louder. I generally, for what I listen to, podcasts, music, uh, you know, rarely ever louder than like 35, 40. have it um spin this guy around here um so yeah overall very happy very pleased uh they were actually kind of bright they were very bright i had to dial the treble down by two or three uh two i think and i pumped the bass up um uh by three the mids are left you know normal um it's important to note that you know uh EQ settings and equalizers in, in aftermarket, uh, in cars in general, should really only be used for fixing problems. So fixing, you know, the sound of your sound system. You don't want to bump anything up. You don't want to boost anything. You don't want to really uh, make your music sound better by, you know, tuning in your uh, EQ adjustments, especially if you don't really know what you're doing. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, uh, if you've got uh maybe you know uh door rattles maybe lower the bass or put on a high pass filter on uh, your door speakers that sort of thing um if the speakers are too shrill you can either dial them back on the amp if you've got an aftermarket uh sound system or you can just turn it down the head unit a little bit um but this is what i'm talking about as far as like fixing issues in your sound system and not trying to make it sound extra good because ideally what you want is just the most accurate uh, sound without distortion, without clipping, uh, that the musicians and the mix and master engineers have uh, put together because they spend a lot of time making it sound as good as they can. Uh, this is, of course, coming from an electronic musician and a mixing and mastering engineer. So uh, take that for what you will. But uh, anyway, I wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, I will link to the Alpine speakers that I've got as well in the description. If you like the video, give me a, a like and a subscribe and, um, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know what you've uh, what you've thought. And if you have a, a similar install, then I would like to hear what, what you guys have and uh, what your experiences have been. So anyway, see you guys in the next one. Bye.